Um, hi, how are you? I hope you're good. Happy Monday. Today I'm here for a book review on Malice by John Gwynn. This is the first book in the Faithful and the Fallen series. I think there's also another series called Of Blood and Bone that takes place in the same world, um, and I think that's as far as like this world goes. Um, this is written by John Gwynn. John Gwynn is a fantasy writer, and I believe he's only written these books. I don't think he's written anything besides that as far as I know. Um, so Malice was published in 2012 and it's been out for quite a while and I was thinking about this the other day. Why had I never really heard about this book at all or the series? Um, it only recently came to my attention because I watched Leslie's review from the Nerdy Narrative. I'll link that video down below. She's just, she's a great channel. Please subscribe to her if you have not. Um, so I was thinking about that and just why why is no one else talking about the series? Because having finished this book and having fallen in love with everything about this, I just can't believe more people are not talking about this. And then I looked at the cover and um, I really enjoyed this cover. In fact, I think it has, a, it has a lot of significance, especially with the sword. Once you finish reading it, it will make sense. Um, but I feel like it's one of those covers, though it's nice, I feel like it doesn't necessarily grasp the reader's attention. So because of that, if this was on a bookshelf at the bookshop, I think I would unfortunately probably just pass it by because it looks kind of like everything else. And that's kind of how I feel about the story in itself. Um, I'll get to that in a second. But I just feel like this cover needs something that makes it pop, that makes it original, and it doesn't really have that. And um, so unfortunately that's why I feel like more people are not picking this up. Uh, so maybe it needs another cover. But I do love the cover, don't get me wrong, I do love the cover. Anyway, moving on to the story. Malice is a fantasy that takes place in a world called the Banished Lands. And in this Banished Lands world we have these god and evil-like characters. You have the god figure, you have the, uh, the devil-like creature, and there's a prophecy that says something will happen, an event will trigger this god war that will happen in this land. And so we follow a huge cast of characters. Um, each chapter is told from a different point of view, so in that way it's very Game of Thrones-like. Um, and we follow all of these characters as they are living their lives and how everything intertwines, everything kind of um, morphs together in the end. And it's such a, it's such a almost stereotypical story in a sense because it hits all of those typical fantasy tropes. We have our our chosen one, you have the 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 evil character that we follow that doesn't really know that they're evil, blah 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 blah. It hits all of those points and because of that you'd think that it's oh it's it's not original, it's not good, blah blah blah. But at the, but for some reason I don't care. I don't care that this book is not necessarily original because it does everything that it does so well. So because of that I think it's really good. Sometimes you don't need a new original you know fun twist on a fantasy. I think as long as you have something that just does the job really well it's gonna be good and this book is so good. It's written so well. It's so well crafted. The characters are super complex. You just fall in love with all of these characters, all of the side characters, all of the creatures, the lore. This book involves giants and giant snakes and it's very man versus giants and the giants have powers which is something that was really interesting. Um, it's just it's so good. Um, one thing that I want to touch on is that I think if you enjoy a, a fantasy series that is super high in uh, like high fantasy like with a bunch of magic you're not really gonna get that in this. Um, maybe in more books later on in the series but this book is mainly about the characters and the overall arcing, you know, building up of this world and getting to learn the, the history and all of that and whatnot. Um, and it's very character focused. So if you're a character driven reader, you're definitely going to like this a lot. Um, this book really blew me away. You know, you the first 200, 250 pages of this book are heavy, heavy in world building and getting to know the characters and whatnot. And then after you get to a certain point, things kind of snap in a way and then you're just along for this roller coaster of a ride. It is just so good. I couldn't put it down. I felt so emotionally drained at the end of this book to be honest and it just it kind of ripped out my heart. You know this is a fantasy series so you know that people are gonna die. You know things are gonna happen but this book didn't just it just went tune 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 goodbye characters and I just was distraught at the end to be honest. Um, 
one thing I really want to praise John Gwynn in this story is that he is so good at writing action scenes. Um, these scenes of combat and fight were so vivid and real. I felt like I was there. It was just, it, it was just so smooth. It was so smooth the way it was written. I, I can't really describe it better than that. Um, so if you are a fan of, you know, heavy action and battles and whatnot, you're gonna really like this. Um, but yeah, so I think if you like Joe Abercrombie, you would really like um, Malice because it, it's dark. It's not as dark as a Joe Abercrombie book, but it's definitely, it teeters that line a little bit. Um, and if you like Game of Thrones, you'll really like this because of all of the multiple POVs. Um, yeah, what else do I want to say? I just... I really like this. Um, it, it, I feel like it's gonna just get better and better and I just, I can't wait to read more. I love the characters like I said before. Corbin is just someone that you can't help but root for. And then you have our other character, Nathair. I don't know if it's Nathair. I hope that's how you say it. Um, he's another character who you could tell is probably going to be our um, antagonist of the book. But at the same time, he's written in such a way to where he believes that what he's doing is right. He believes he's doing the good thing. So you kind of uh, empathize with him a little bit, but at the same time I could see that he's gonna go on this dark dark path where Corbin is going in the opposite direction and it's interesting. I'm, I'm, I can't wait to see how they cross paths later on. I love all of the side characters. You have the mom, the dad, you have uh, Corbin's uh, wolf that he kind of is pet basically and it's just oh I love it so much and then his friends and and just oh I love it I love it so much I don't know what else to say besides I really like Malice I highly recommend it this is the first book in the series I will be reviewing the rest hopefully um is what I'm hoping for so look out for that I highly recommend this and if you've read it I would love to know your thoughts and opinions in the comments below um if you want to talk with if you want to talk about spoilers please at least write spoiler in your comments so people know and um, with that being said I think I'm gonna go and I'm gonna probably start the next book to be honest because I can't wait um, but yeah you guys have a great day or night wherever you are and I'll see you in another video very soon bye